duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another stream up video. And this is a new product from us at StreamUp. I created this quite a while ago. I've been doing you guys a huge disjustice not releasing it. So I've got it all fixed up. It's running through the DSK system as well to make it look extra pretty. Uh, this is the Minim Pulse system. It looks amazing. Just remember, subscribe, right? Let's just get into it. Put your rug of the stone. Let's go. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. Own.TV is the only place you guys need to go for all your streaming related needs. Own is the largest streamer shop worldwide and they have absolutely everything. Complete overlay packages, stinger transitions, emotes, badges and many, many more. You can even save yourself a cheeky 50% off anything using my code Andy50 and each purchase will go to supporting me on this channel. I'll leave all the links in the description. Thank you very much, duckies. Right, so to get this downloaded, it's super easy. Get it straight off our StreamUp website. You won't be able to see it right now because I'm obviously filming this video beforehand. Uh, but as soon as you get it downloaded, it will bring you a nice little zip file. Just get it unzipped. Uh, this is the minimum poll just in here. All the things that you'll need to get installed are in this top file just here which is the font and everything like that, and all the plugins for OBS that you'll be needing to make this work. Or you can use our new StreamUp tool that will automatically download all the up-to-date plugins that you need for OBS that you can just click and drag it into your folder. I'll leave the link to that video up there and also the links down in the description as well for that. So make sure you've got all that up-to-date before you do anything, okay? Next up, we've got the Streamer bot installed and we've also got the StreamUp file. So I'm gonna install it into OBS first. So if I open up OBS, I'm using the clear blank OBS right now, but you can use, it doesn't have to be, it can be in your current scene collection that you're already using. But we're gonna go up to tools and we're gonna go to stream up. So once in there, we're gonna navigate to whatever folder, uh, wherever we decided to save it. So I'm gonna go to stream up, minim poll, double click into that, and then double click the dot stream file just there. And it's gonna create three different scenes just there. Once you've got that installed, make sure you do not move the folder around on your computer. Otherwise, all the, the relevant assets might get lost and it won't work properly without you reinstalling it or putting that folder back to where it was originally. So, it, it doesn't look like anything uh, on the scene. So, there's nothing to kind of worry about because we've not activated anything yet. So, we've got the DSK blur scenes as well. So, if you want to use this, then you need to be using the downstream Kia plugin. And to get it working, all you gotta do is click on the DSK blur scene, scene, the DSK blur scene scene, and then go down to where your downstream Kia is. You might have it in a separate menu or something like that, or you might have to go to view, docs and then bring up the downstream key just there if you're not seeing that it means you've not got that plugin installed and you just press the plus sign on it and then click it and that'll automatically turn that on that means whatever's in your on you'll have the minim poll on it so even if i'm on this blank scene here and we activate the minim poll it'll appear here and it'll also blur whatever's behind it so it looks super cool Next up, we need to get it all set up in StreamerBot. So we're gonna open up StreamerBot. We're also gonna navigate to the minim poll folder so we have it ready. And there's a streamer.bot install folder. We're gonna go in there and you'll see this file that says streamer.bot install minim poll. We're gonna go back into StreamerBot and go to your actions tab. And then we're just gonna right click on the left hand side and press import. Once on this screen, all we need to do is click and drag this file into the import string and it's automatically going to kind of fill everything out for us so we don't have to do anything we don't have to untick anything here or anything like that we just press import and on the left hand side you should see another section here saying stream up widgets minim poll and there's three different sections there so we need to set this up so we're going to go up to twitch and then we're going to go down to the poll tab that should be the first one that opens anyway go to created we're going to click on that scroll all the way down to wherever your uh, stream up widgets uh, minim poll it's usually in alphabetical order and we're just going to press the created action so press select and then we're going to do updated scroll all the way down and you name it we press the update action and then we do the completed action which right down here we've got minim poll complete action select and that's set up ready to go now 
The only last thing that we need to do before it's fully going to work is go back to your actions tab. So we're going to select the complete action on the left hand side and on the sub actions on the right you should see a folder that says check winner. We're going to open that folder and go to this execute code check winner and double click into that. This will look pretty complicated. We're not going to do anything complicated. We're going to press compile and you'll see all these errors have popped up. So we're just going to go to references tab and we're going to right click and press add reference from file. And we're going to just type into the bottom here system.core and it should autofill with system.core.dll and then we're going to press open. And then now when you go back to the compiling log and press compile, you should see it's compiled successfully. So we press save and compile and that is it. We are all sorted, ready to go. So if I zoom out now, go to my Twitch tab and on the polls and uh, prediction section, I can right click and press add. So I'm going to do a test poll and I'm going to put in a couple of answers just here. So I'll put in one, two, three, it doesn't really matter. And then when I zoom out and press create, you should see we've now got the test poll on screen. So there is a little bug uh, that sometimes happens like this. You see this countdown bar isn't actually doing anything, even though the poll is live. If I do a vote, we should see, I'm not even logged into Twitch, wonderful. You should see everything else still animates perfectly fine. And then it'll animate off screen. But the second time that we use it, everything should work perfectly fine this time. So I'll do test two and I'll just do some other answers, blah, 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 blah. I'll use all the answers, press create. And this time everything is working just fine. It only happens sometimes. Certain filters just don't activate straight away. So on the second time round, it will always work. And now it'll work forever. You don't have to do like a test one to start with. It's only the first time it ever gets used. And that's it. It all animates. It'll um, fade out as well. And that is all ready to go. You don't even need to add it to any scene either. Because it's on this. As you can see, I've got no sources. It's because I'm using the DSK. If you weren't using the DSK. So if I press the pause sign. And I'll just do another test one. You'll see. So I'll do test. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. And press create. Nothing's on screen. But I can add the sort scene as a source. So if I go to the DSK um, intermix, for instance. Or if I want to just add the minim poll. You can add it at its own source as well. That's if you don't want it to be blurred behind. And that is everything. It's a cool way for, for people to interact with your stream. And actually just showcase. So if somebody's just watching full screen on TV. And they don't have their chat open. They can see what's going on in the chat. It's the same with the prediction system that we made as well. So if you've got any questions. Just bang them in the comments. Or just join the stream up discord server. We're always happy to help. Uh, massive shout out to all my patrons just here. They make me make this content full time for you guys. Uh, consider joining from £1 uh, today. Or the YouTube members down below as well well uh, and hopefully you'll enjoy one of these videos here of another stream up product that will enrich your stream all right put your rock with the stone i'll see you in the next one much love